Hey guys, so here's my grocery haul for the week. Um, I am going to be doing Weight Watchers vegan, but just for maintenance purposes. I'm just trying to get into intuitive eating um, and just kind of, I'm not saying I don't I have bad habits, but just working on keeping good habits essentially and um, not gaining, which is, you know, always the goal. So whether that's bulking up with vegetables or eating fruits as a snack, um, even though there's really not that much fruit in here, because uh, I do like frozen fruit a lot as well. Um, so yeah, so that is what I'll be doing for the week, and I will actually be making videos this week as well of what I ate um, as a vegan on Weight Watchers. So here I have, oh, and I got this stuff from Trader Joe's and Stop and Shop. So here, we'll start here on the Trader Joe's side. I got some baby spinach, um, some organic shredded green and red cabbage with orange carrots, um, some cut and peeled organic baby carrots. I love these. I bring them with me for lunch with my sandwiches along with these um, San Marzano plum tomatoes. Um, I got three bags. They're a little pricey, I'm not going to lie, but I just really like them. About half a bag is a serving, so I'll just pop that um into like my lunchbox kind of thing that I have. Um, and I'll take that with me or when I come home from work and um, I'm trying to make dinner, but like I'm a little hungry, I'll have a serving of that. I got some organic bananas to have with breakfast. Uh, I got some veggie kebabs for dinner. There's about four servings in here, but regardless, it's all vegetables. So this will is zero points. I got a mirepoix, which is, I really hope I said that right, which is just like, um, for like the startings of any kind of soup or stew. Um, it is celery that's chopped, chopped onions and chopped carrots. I actually got this for, uh, I'm going to be making with these chickpeas and this hummus, a chickpea salad. Um, and I wanted to get celery and I was actually just going to buy celery and just use my baby carrots, but they didn't have celery there. So I figured I would use that. Um, and the carrots so that way they're already chopped for me and I could use my carrots for lunch and then the onions I will definitely need and like a salad or to have with the shredded cabbage and this sauerkraut I like to mix it together with some lemon juice that's probably one of my favorite ways to actually have a uh, shredded cabbage um, some shelled edamame um, oh it's just before I don't forget I got some soy beverage which is their soy milk it's literally two yeah, two ingredients. So I actually really like this one. I used to drink this all the time when I did Simply Filling. Um, and I'm actually gonna explain in a second why I got this. I got these Cliff Builders Protein Bars. Oh, and again, everything so far I've showed has been zero points. This is two points per two tablespoons or the full 28 grams, which I think is about an ounce. Um, these I got, they're 10 points each. They're like, they are huge. Now they're not to eat every day, um, they're kind of, like I'll cut them in half or I'll take one on the go. These will fill me up for a very long time, I will eat this with a banana for breakfast, they're 10 points. I don't plan on eating it for breakfast, but I actually plan on if I have quite a few points left at the end of the night, eating these maybe like after I come home from the gym, because um, I normally will have dinner and then go to the gym, because these are so good, they're like candy bars, so I kind of got them as treats. Um, I don't ever really reach for them, but it's just more of a least, more of an incentive to have this than chocolate, which I also ended up buying, but yeah. Um, and the last thing I got from Trader Joe's before I move on to Stop and Shop are these organic animal crackers. I love these. My dog loves these. Um, I eat them. I don't eat them that frequently, but I like having them um, as a snack. Uh, so 17 crackers, uh, which is a serving, is four points. You can have... Three points, 14. So I'll normally do something I'll probably have. I think it's 22, 22 of them is four points. So depending on how many points I have left, I'll do that. And I'll usually have them with this chocolate. I love this chocolate. It is so good. A third of the bar is eight points. But what I would do is I would um, have half a bar. Well, half of that serving, which is about like three squares. Um, that I believe half the bar ends up being three points if I'm not mistaken it could be four um and uh I'll have it with that like say again this is saying if I have a lot of points left over at the end of the night I'll do maybe three points of this and like some berries or cherries or grapes 
and that's like a really satisfying end of the night snack for me to have like while I'm watching TV. Um, I think I saw, I think I said I got the, this already, but this is just the tofu um, cream cheese. So it's vegan cream cheese. Um, and this one doesn't have the hydrogenated oil. I think, yeah, maybe. Um, so my biggest struggle was finding English muffins that were lower in points that didn't have milk in them or whey. So I ended up getting the 100% whole wheat um, stop and shop English muffins and these are three points. So that was a nice find and they actually look really big and hefty compared to the like 100 calorie ones that they um, have that had whey in them. So I got these finger length potatoes. There's about doo -doo -doo, four and a half servings in there. So essentially the idea is you pop these into the microwave for about eight minutes or so and then you it steams it in there and then it's good to go but what i kind of want to do is i want to steam them like one bag at a time um and then kind of do two servings uh, i forgot how many points were in one serving but in two servings it ends up being six points which is again about half the bag um and then essentially all you do is i want to do is maybe use a teaspoon of oil um, and this is actually made for my dinner with the veggie kebabs um, which are zero but I want to use the teaspoon of oil for the potatoes and the veggie kebabs um, so that's one of the dinners I plan for the week um, but all in all this is six points if just for two servings so if, um, I'm probably measured out with my scale so I would just double up the 148 put it on um, a baking sheet spike put some spices Again, use the oil for kebabs and that, um, and just bake them off, and they're going to be really, really good, nice and crispy, and that will be like a quick dinner. Um, yeah, and I think with the oil, it ends up being like a seven-point dinner, and I was also going to, <laughs> got really excited, uh, mix the cabbage with the sauerkraut and have that on the side as well. Maybe some ketchup, we'll see. Again, that really depends on how much points because I love ketchup, but yeah. But that would be my dinner. And also, if you do Simply Filling, that is a completely Simply Filling dinner. I think it would be, yeah, it would end up being like zeroing out because you could use one of your teaspoons or tablespoons of oil. Um, I also got this stir fry sauce from La Choy. Um, I've never had it before but I have an idea to use this maybe not this week but maybe maybe on the weekend or something like that with some I have some bow tie pasta cook that up let it cool and then stir fry some broccoli edamame and uh, bell peppers that I have from last week so I probably should use those up I do have some frozen ones if I need to um, and cook that with that and some tofu and then just have like a nice little Asian noodley dish kind of thing, sort of. I don't know, maybe crossing my fingers that that turns out really good. Um, I got the Quaker oatmeal packets. This is just the plain one. This is like a staple for me um, when sometimes I come home from the gym, and that's usually when I'll start making my lunch for the next day, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, so, like my lunch and my breakfast, because I do work early in the morning. Um, and so I pretty much have breakfast and lunch at work and a snack, so I do plan accordingly. Um, but this is just easy. I just grab a bunch, leave them in my desk, and I always have breakfast sorted. One packet is three points, so the way I like to do it is two ways. I will have two packets, which would then be six points, and a banana. Um, I keep cinnamon in my drawer, and I have some stevia, or you can use some Splenda. Mix that. I also will put some... Like if I have soy milk there, I will put a little bit of that, like about 30 mils. Cause I, keep, I also have, I sound crazy, but I also have like a food scale that I keep in my desk. And it just makes the perfect consistency with the hot water. Um, Cause we do have a microwave in our office and it's like the best. Um, or I'll do one packet of this with the peanut butter and co cinnamon raisin swirl peanut butter, which is three points for a tablespoon. So that's six points. I'll do again the soy milk, which is will end up being zero points with the amount that I use. Um, the hot water, and I let that, I actually put the peanut butter in once it comes out of the microwave, but it's smaller, but I also have a banana with it, and it ends up being 
around the same amount of calories and points. So both six points. So that's, oh, and I add more cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So yeah, so that's that. Um, I have some cherries. I like to bring these with me to work or just snack on these before I go to bed. I will say this, I think I might have said this in my last video, cherries put me to bed. There is melatonin in them, like natural melatonin. Um, so if you do have trouble sleeping, these are a good thing to have before bed. Um, but my problem is sometimes I can't wake up. But I don't know if that's the cherries or if that's me because I do have to be up super early. And then the last thing I got is this Oregon chai, uh, chai tea latte, slightly sweet. A serving of this is about half a cup um, and it's two points. So my thing is what I love to do is go to Starbucks ask them for a double shot of espresso in a grande cup. I'm thinking what I can do now is ask them for a double shot in a venti cup with ice and put in half a cup of this and half a cup of this and basically have a three point dirty chai. I've never done it before. I'm hoping it turns out okay. Um, I will report back to you. Um, so yeah, that is probably, that's the reason I got this. Um, this is two points for one cup, I believe. Half a cup is one point. So, yeah. So I'm crossing my fingers that this tastes good. Now, this is technically, this does have honey in it, so it's not vegan. So if that is something that, um, if honey is something that you don't consume, I'm sorry. Um, but I do consume honey here and there. So... Yeah, that is essentially all that I got this week. Um, yeah, and look forward, uh, <laughs> my mail ended up getting in there. Uh, look forward to seeing some what I eat in the days, because um, I will be recording them this week, I promise. So yeah.